Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to take a look at gold and we're going to look at will this recent rally reverse. Now um, in recent videos we've talked about the fact that gold has broken to the upside. Um, this is likely due to a hedge against inflation uh, rising in the US and uh, I still think that the gold prices could continue to rally um, but it's how do we take advantage of that rally and um, if the price is going to reverse in the short term can we trade it to the downside so you can see here currently looking for a short position uh, or in a short position down to previous uh, structure is what I'm looking for uh, but essentially what we're looking at is one of the uh, low ranging candlesticks so in a previous gold trading strategy video we outlined previously we talked about the fact that when gold forms these low daily range in candlesticks we often see impulsive phases uh, follow okay so we usually see a rally in either direction um, depending on sort of uh, what the trend of the market is in at that particular time now we've had a strong rally to the upside and you can see that yesterday we actually formed one of our low daily ranging candlesticks just in here and um, it was after a very significant rally to the upside so that suggested to me that we could start to see this rally uh, reverse or at least form a retracement phase because technically the market is making higher highs and higher lows okay and if the market is going to form a retracement phase we want to see price pull back to an area of support and the support area at the moment that I've outlined is this one here around about 1830 so what we could see is gold drop back down into this 1830 level see buyers continue as well we've got the trend line um, resistance now support in here so we could see price pull back to there now if we are going to see that then we should see a lower time frame trend develop now you can see here on the hourly the market was squeezing to the upside we've kind of got this range uh, or channel that the market is working at the moment however we have just significantly broken and closed below the 50 ema that's a good sign that price could continue to the downside uh, we had it recently over here where uh, price was still in that bullish trend on the daily time frame but now we're starting to break below it after forming one of these low daily ranging candlesticks so that to me is a sign that we could see some downside now one way you could trade this is by looking at the previous day's low and uh, looking for a price to trade off of that so if I actually just put that in here so yesterday's low came in around about this area at 1856 okay so we've just taken that level out now on this hourly chart on the right hand side okay so what I'm looking for is for this downward trend to continue and what we should see again is the market form lower lows and lower highs so um, what you could ultimately look for is a pullback to this and what we're going to look for is either a pullback to that yesterday's low um, if price can continue to the downside in the short term or a pullback to around about this 1863 level you can see here the market has found some support and resistance here in the past so really speaking could look for some short-term downside in gold looking for this potential rally to reverse in the short term looking for price to retest 1830 for buyers to step back in as uh, the market looks to hedge the rise in inflation in the US so thanks for watching this video update I hope you enjoyed it if you did leave this video a thumbs up subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some more of our trading content and I'll speak to you in the next video